Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Brew, your brew of tips, tools, and techniques to help you grow a fantastic business that you love and that you can learn from and share with others. So tonight, we are going to carry on the theme of presenting. I am hoping that I'm coming across nice and loud and clear, not too muffled. Would that be right, Kate? Yes. Uh, we're going to carry on the theme of presenting. I feel that there's a ton of people uh, in the U tribe who sort of got a bit of a handle on presenting, but they're not 100% confident. And they may hear other people doing presentations and think, oh God, I can't do that. Or they may think they have to be a certain way or say the right things or, or you know, they may, you know, I know what it was like for me when I first started. I really had no clue. And what I want to share with you over the, well, over the next few brews, starting from last week, uh, is just a whole different way of looking at presenting from a point of view of looking at yourself and the person who's sitting in front of you. And tonight I have got actually Artemis, who is a new social daily tips. And this is a recording that was in the YouTube that Andrew put on YouTube a couple of days ago. And um, what I did was I chopped out the bit where she was presenting to someone and I've just saved it as a separate video. So I thought I would play that for you tonight. One of the things that she talks about a lot is mindset and understanding what you've got in your hands and I really think that all of us are too hard on ourselves when it comes to feeling like we need to know it all and have it all together and be you know really successful straight away and I think that that is something that I really want everybody who watches this if it's you watching this and I'm speaking to you to understand that you need to learn a whole bunch of stuff before you can get really ace at this. I still need to learn lots of stuff. Everybody needs to learn lots of stuff. It's a continual learning, learning process. Uh, don't be too frightened or feel unconfident to, or feel like you're asking silly questions to reach out to someone and say, hey, I really want to get great at this. I really want to get great at sponsoring and presenting people so that I can help people you know, reach their goals. Don't be scared to reach out because everybody needs to learn this stuff. And I mean, we all, it's a continual learning process, like I say. So this is another way of presenting. You may have already seen this if you watched Artemis's Viz. Uh, it is so worth watching again. I, you just can't, I, you just put it, I actually just listen to it on my phone when I go for a walk and I have my phone in my pocket. It's fantastic. So I'm going to share this. Kate's nodding because she's already seen it. A woman brought her sister-in-law to come and meet with me <clears throat> and um, her sister-in-law walked in the door saying, listen, I'm not interested at all in new skin. But if you want to do a demonstration on me just because I'm the sister-in-law, you know, go ahead. Uh, I'm good. But I'm not going to join New Skin. In fact, six people have invited me to join New Skin just in the last couple of months. Two of them even from Argentina. In fact, uh, do you want to really know why I'm not going to join? And this was the introduction. This is exactly how the conversation went. I said, sure, go ahead and tell me. And she said, my boyfriend even called me. My ex-boyfriend called me from Argentina. And I thought he was calling to get back together. But you know why he was calling me? He was calling to tell me about stupid new skin. And so I hung up the phone because I was so mad. And I threw the phone across the room. And I'm not going to join new skin. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I love this kind of stuff because to me, I'm not trying to change you and I'm not trying to get you to join New Skin. I want to find out what you want in life. I want to find out if you already have the ingredients that you need. And if you don't, I want to be your trusted advisor to share with you a few things about what can get you on that path. And then if you would like my assistance, here's where to join me. But if just the little few things that I gave you, gave you a leg up in the world on how you could possibly make strong choices in the direction of your dream, then that's why we met. So anyway, I did the two lifestyles with her and I did the napkin briefing just to briefly say, and I did the four quadrants just to say, hey, you know, she, her background was in selling jewelry and you know what she wants to be? Here's what's really funny. She wants to go to school to become a sales coach. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this girl's so perfect for what we do. But anyway, I gave her a few thoughts of different things. And of course we did the demonstration, but way before I got to the demonstration, way before I said anything really about new skin, just talking about the two lifestyles, 
you know, uh, lifestyle number one, the one your culture is going to teach you, you know, you can go to school for the first 25 years, retire at 65 and, you know, work hard for 40 years and then you're supposed to have life on your terms. But, you know, the truth is most people are still working or on a fixed income and dealing with declining health. And people go, yeah, yeah, I see that. So I'm like, may I talk to you about lifestyle number two? Your culture is not going to teach you this. Your boss isn't going to teach you this. Your schooling isn't going to teach you this. May I share this with you? Because I would have understood this in high school. I would have understood this when I was 20 and I would have made different decisions. Sure, Artemis. Great. The second lifestyle, same 80 years. We're going to go to school for the first 25 to learn how to have some skills in the world. You know, we can't just grunt at each other. So let's learn how to think and learn a few skills. But I said, how, how long have you been in the workforce? How old are you? She said, I'm 42. I said, great. How long have you been in the workforce? She said, I've been working since I was like early 20s, about 20 years. So I said, would you say you've been working? Were you a slacker or been working hard? She said, no, I've been working hard. So I said, okay, you've been in the workforce for 20 years and you've been working hard. Can you stop right now and be okay financially? She said, no. So I said, if you continue to do what you're doing now for the next five years, working hard, working strong, being a good employee, will you be able to stop then and have life on your terms and have money working for you? She said, no. I said, okay, uh, Ali, that was her name. I said, Ali, here's my question to you and the reason possibly that you and I are meeting. What if in the next five to seven years, you could learn how to work smart so that in the next five to seven years, you've turned that equation around and money is working for you and you do have life on your terms. Would you rather have lifestyle one or lifestyle two? She said, I'd like to have lifestyle number two. I said, okay, that's what everybody says. And she said, but I don't want to be in sales and I don't want to have qu uh, quotas and I don't want to do this. I go, wait, 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 don't jump ahead. It's not a matter of what we do and don't want to do. It's a matter of where do we want to go and what will it require of us to get there? Because people always want the answer, answer, answer. And I'm like, no, it's a process, okay? We, we got to walk through what's the the process because there's a lot of things I don't want to do, but then I want to do them because I want the outcome. So she said, okay. So I said, the question that most people want to know at this point is how are you going to compress this 40 years into four or five or seven years? How are you going to do that? So I said, would you like to know that? She said, yes. I said, okay. I drew on a piece of paper, four quadrants. And I said, it's because we work with trends. Okay. And a trend is simply where money is flowing in the, in the economy already, okay? I was talking to a woman who was doing car sales, number one in car sales in Peru for Nissan. And as we were talking, I said to her, you know, uh, it doesn't matter how good you are, you do know that your, your industry is going away. Not the industry of people buying cars, but the industry of salespeople selling it. You do understand that people are now able to go online, order everything they want, have no profit, and just have somebody deliver their car to them. So I don't know how much longer the, being number one is even going to matter because your industry is being stolen out from under you. Good salespeople in car sales isn't even going to be needed in the next five to seven years. So walking people through the process. It's not a matter of, I don't want to do it. I don't want to work hard. I don't want to have the courage to change. It's, will you need the courage to change? Will you need to be thinking differently? So the four quadrants, here's that we work with trends and trends is where money is flowing. Largest trend in the world, wellness and beauty. We didn't create it. It is the largest trend in the world. People who are older, 15 above, are demanding this. And you know what? The largest generation yet in the world, the younger people are demanding it as well. So we didn't create this, but we're going to position you in front of it. Second largest trend in the world is networking and social networks. And that includes social media and all kinds of things. Again, I want you to know we didn't create this trend, but we're going to position you right in front of it. And the third largest trend in the world is supplemental income. We didn't create this, just position you in front of it. So I said, our solution is unique technologies, like I explained to you with the Lumi Spot and the treatment, that we create unique technologies for you that change the way you age inside and outside. And then, and that's how we position you in front of these large trends. The second thing is that we have powerful online and offline systems. We will train you in every skill and in every bit of mindset that you need. We have all of it for you. So again, we're gonna just position you in front of that. And we have a compensation that is going to reward you and teach you how to have money working for you. That is our solution for positioning you in, in, this, in this world. Now, our partner is 50, 38 years old, and we have work in 50 countries. We're publicly traded. And then when I'm talking in Latin America, I just said in Latin America, business is booming. So there's people who make hundreds of dollars a month, thousands of dollars a month, tens of thousands of dollars a month. 
which do you, where do you see yourself? She circled tens of thousands of dollars a month. So I said, okay. And at this point, I want you guys to know she looked up at me and, and she looked at her sister-in-law. She's been invited to New Skin over the last four or five months, six times from all these different people that just said, join New Skin, join New Skin, join New Skin. And she said, no, 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 no. I don't want sales. I don't want quotas. I'm not going to do it. And she looked up at me and she said, maybe I just haven't talked to the right person. Now, the only difference is I didn't do anything that is that is uh, me. OK, I did a process to let her have a different and empowered ability to make choices for herself. That's what I want you to understand about what we really do at the heart of building leadership and of finding those 16 leaders and of building team leaders underneath them. That's what I want you to understand. So I'm going to close with this because there's just oh, my goodness, I'm just brimming over here. Um, when she left that day, uh, Allie signed up. First of all, she signed up the seventh person. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay, so she signed up and I'm excited for her, not because she signed up. I'm excited for her because I know what her dream is and I know that we can help develop that for her. But she had in her hand, even though she said, I'm not going to join New Skin, she actually had in her hand a brown envelope, a uh, manila envelope that she had her resume in. And she said, I, uh, I, you know, she turned to her sister and said, should I like leave this with her or, you know, and so she said, did you want to see my resume? So I took her resume and she said, I'm still nervous that I'm not the person that can do this. So we're at the door as she's getting ready to leave. And I took her resume from her and I looked her in the eyes like I'm looking at you guys. I got like, you know, just directly looking at her. And I said, Allie, this is going to be, this is, I'm sure this is a really powerful resume. And I said, but this resume represents what you already know how to do. So. You know, a resume allows you to give a hiring person, this is what I already know how to do in life, so that they can hire you to do what you already know. That's what a resume is. This is, this is a, a document of what you already know how to do. And then I said to her, when you start working with me, our relationship is about everything you're willing to learn so that you can have the power to capture that dream. So I said, we won't need your resume and you can become the person that is able to do everything I'm gonna teach you. I swear to God, you guys, her sponsor um, was like blown away because it hit her in the heart too. Because her sponsor kept wanting to talk to her every time she had an objection. Her sponsor kept wanting to say, but let me spot number one and New Skin does this and New Skin does that. And I didn't actually do this, but I wanted to just cup her hand to say, stop. You know, the way that you learn to speak to people's dream is that your dream is alive in you and you are speaking to people to say we've got to become the kind of person who can command this so once again to end where i started people come for the money and you and i have to tie them to team i'm looking i'm using my hand here in order for them to become the person in order for them to fall in love with the journey of becoming the person who walks away with the money that they came for. But you know what's most beautiful? Is they walk away becoming the person that they have always dreamt and desired to be. So I love you guys. I look forward to seeing you guys at convention, those of you guys that are coming. And I hope you have an amazing weekend. And um, Artemis and Dallas over and out. Love you guys. She is so great. She is so great. And, you know, take that presentation that she just gave us and it speaks to you and imagine if you have been sitting uh where somebody brought in a prospect to see you and they were like straight off the bat don't want to borrow it don't want to sign up had some people tell me what would your initial reaction have been would it have been oh but the products are so great you need to try the lemme spa because you had the lemme spa there would it have been, oh, you know, what would it have been? Like, have a moment and actually think, what would I have naturally done? And then go back and watch this bit again and just realize what Artemis is doing is actually going, that's okay. That's okay. Just tell me about you. I'm actually just here to help people out. I'm not here to sell. I'm not here to sign up. I'm here to help you out if I can. And if not, you know, then we've had a nice chat. That is such gold in that presentation. She is just so self-possessed and it is something that absolutely anybody can do. Anybody, like a five-year-old could watch that and pretty much do it. It's not rocket science. 
So challenge two for the week is to listen to that a few times and have some practices. It's me. Uh, now I want to share after this, I'm going to share a link for our VIP, our boutique tour registration form that is going to be for next September. So we've got plenty of time. It's $8.50 a day, or is it a week if you're saving? Um, and basically it's an online Google form where you can fill out your details and then you've registered. Uh, we've got a space for 50 and that we had 35 in the last trip and that was kind of enough. Um, we could have had more people. We can fit more than more than 35 people in Craig Bryson's house and more than 35 people in Giselle's house. Uh, but it was nicer that it was smaller. So we don't want to go beyond 50. Um, and it's really, really simple. Just name, da, 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 you'll see the form. So fill it out ASAP, get online. Once you've filled it out, it, you're, not, um, you're not beholden to it. Uh, but it is just a matter of giving us an indication who's coming. And also there has been some discussion around putting a down payment for accommodation. Now the accommodation that we stayed in was fantastic. It's a kitchenette, like a lounge kitchenette fireplace, like sitting room, really comfy. And then off each side of the, of the lounge is a full ensuite um, queen bedroom, lots of space, desk, da, da, da. so it, like, it slept the four of us really, really comfortably. And the accommodation for us was 450 US all up for, for four of us for four nights. I think it was four nights. So it was absolutely brilliant. The van cost $20 petrol and $70 each hireage. So it's going to be around about that. I mean, the, the, the accommodation is heavily, heavily discounted because Chris and Carol have a membership with them. So we can get, it's just so fantastic. So get your name down. I will put a pinned link in the Butro Global, which will always be at the top. So you can get people signed, signed onto the link, get their names down. So we can start a chat about what's happening. It's still ages away, it's in September. Uh, and I know that there are a ton of people in the U tribe who are sitting on their hands going, is, I'm just not sure if this is right for me because I'm not sure what, I've, what I'm doing and I'm not, I don't really, I'm not confident about my new skin business. Oh, someone's trying to ring me. Excuse me. I'm not confident about my business. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm sort of half giving it a go. I know there's a ton of people doing that. If you come on this trip, if you start saving, it'll be nothing. Like it will just go so quickly. And if you just save a few dollars a day or sell a, a toothpaste a day, um, you'll get there on toothpaste. Uh, but this trip will ground you like nothing else that you can do really. Like I've been on quite a few trips and I've talked to lots of people and I've, you know, I've been around the traps with new skin. This trip is going to give you the goods that you need because it is so authentic and real and it's just... Whatever your angle is, you'll find that angle there. It's quite multifaceted. Um, and also, it's a team thing. So everyone just hang out together. I mean, going to find the only place in Provo that sells wine is quite a fun event and doing other crazy stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to put the link up. So it's super exciting. And one other thing that I wanted to mention was we've got the Auckland Roadshow tomorrow night. So I will be there. There's a bunch of us going. Uh, I haven't put a message out. I'm super sorry about that. Uh, but just come and find me. We'll, I'll grab some seats up the front and we can all sit together. Uh, there's also Kate. I'm going to put you online now, actually. Where are you, Kate Edwards? Australia in the house. Kate, when's, <laughs> where's, your, Mel where's your Melbourne Roadshow? 14th. 14th of okay, so three days, two days after hours. <laughs> Kelly's coming up. Yeah. Kelly looks like she's cooking at the moment as well. Yep, well done, Kelly. Um, I've got the other dates here. Um, do you know what the other dates are off the top of your head, Kate? Um, no, I don't. I think um, Brisbane is the 13th, I think. I did hear some, and then someone rang. That's the worst way, isn't it? This is great looking at the top of my hat. Sorry, guys. Um, oh, there's um, a recent post. Buy two Lumi Spas and you get an age look Lumi Spa accent for free. Currently on um, line, which goes till the 18th. I saw that. Um, which is fantastic if you've got Lumi Spa, if you're a Lumi Spa person. 
Um, so the road shows are Auckland tomorrow, um, Melbourne the 14th, Sydney the 13th, Rizzy the 15th, Perth the 16th, Wellington to, uh, the 13th of November, and Adelaide on the 15th of November. So I'll just go over those again. If you've got people there who are into skincare, who are like your um, skincare people, there's a skincare expert coming to talk. So it's a great, great person to get them in front of. Or somebody who's super skeptical and wants to find out more. Like these people have got the, the shiz around the skincare. So tomorrow, Auckland. Um, this is not in order. Wednesday, tomorrow, Auckland. Wednesday is Sydney. Thursday is Melbourne. Friday is Brisbane. Saturday is Perth. And tomorrow is also Wellington, and 15th Friday is also Adelaide. So those are the events that are coming up. So at least everybody's got something major, major to uh, contribute. Hi, Claire. Um, that's the brew for hello. That's the brew for the week. I really encourage everybody to share that uh, Artemis video. Um, I can put. Well, I can, well, I can just watch the brew and just like it towards the end. Uh, it's one of those things you just listen over and over and over and over to you get what she's doing and it's super simple and next week if it's not next week it'll be the week after we'll have another presentation to, sort of, to look at because that's not going to suit everybody that is not going to suit everybody but it's going to suit someone who comes and goes no 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 you know and who you can do a Lumi Star demo on or a scanner demo on so thanks for joining in and if you're catching the replay thanks for that as well have a wonderful week everyone bye bye